There are some common mistakes that students make when they write sentences. In this video, we're going to talk about two types of mistakes. Something we call run-on sentences and comma splices are sentences that have not been written correctly. Let's find out what these are and how to fix them. In this video, I'm going to talk about run-on sentences and comma splices and how to fix them. A run-on sentence happens when two independent clauses are not connected properly. Now, in an independent clause is a group of words that can be a sentence by themselves. So here's an example. The country has abundant natural resources. It adds greatly to its economy. Now, in this sentence, there are two independent clauses. The first clause is, the country has abundant natural resources. This could be a sentence all by itself. And the second independent clause is, it adds greatly to its economy. Again, this could be a sentence all by itself. Now, in English, we cannot connect two complete independent clauses in this way. So to fix a run-on sentence, you need to separate the two independent clauses and put a period between the two sentences. So this is how the sentences should be written. There needs to be a period to separate the two sentences. Now sometimes students connect two independent clauses with a comma. This type of run-on sentence is called a comma splice. Here's an example. The company changed its policy, comma, then their sales increased. Again, there are two independent clauses here. The company changed its policy, then their sales increased. The two sentences have been connected by a comma. Now, we cannot do this in English. The two sentences should be separated like this. All right, let's look at some ways to fix run-on sentences. Now, one way to fix a run-on sentence is to add punctuation. This is probably the simplest way to correct the problem. Just separate the sentences and put a period at the end of the first sentence. Another way to fix the run-on sentence is to add a comma and a conjunction, such as and, but, so. So here we've taken our two sentences and added a comma and then the word and. Another possibility is to add a semicolon between the independent clauses. Now you need to be careful. Only use a semicolon if the two sentences have a close relationship. The ideas need to be connected. The country has abundant natural resources, semicolon. It adds greatly to its economy. Now here we've put a semicolon between the two sentences. Be careful not to add words such as and, but, so after the semicolon. Here's how we could fix the other example we just looked at. Now let's talk about how to fix a comma splice. It's very similar to how to fix the run-on sentence. Here we have our sentence with a comma between the two sentences. So one thing you can do is to add a conjunction such as and, but, so. So we could change it to the company changed its policy, comma, and then their sales increased. Another thing you can do is to change the comma to a semicolon. Here we have the semicolon between the two sentences. And a third way is just to separate the sentences by putting a period. Be careful when writing longer sentences. Whenever you find a very long sentence, you should check to make sure that you have written it correctly. Always check, is there more than one independent clause connected incorrectly? 
If there is, either separate them and include a period or separate them with a comma and a conjunction. Now, if the two sentences are closely related, you can also use a semicolon to separate the two clauses. But just remember, writing longer sentences is great if they are written correctly. I hope you've learned some ways to help correct your sentences. Happy writing!